Welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we got another versus for you. So Y'all stay tuned. Okay, so today the versus is not cooking. Today is going to be newer cast iron versus old cast iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two identical size pans, one eh, from the 80s and uh, one from way before that. We're going to strip them, re-season them, and see how they compare when we cook with them later. So I just recovered this pan. I think it's a BSR. Uh, it's a little cruddy. So I'm just going to show you how we're going to just burn this one out. It's not terrible. Okay, it doesn't need a doesn't need electrolysis bath. It's not rusty. It's got a little surface rust. I cleaned it with a little bit of a Brillo pad uh, on the inside. Some oil on it. There don't seem to be any pits. So we're just going to burn it out. You know, we'll uh, we'll go through this whole process. For you. Gotta be fancy. Take the rest of them. Dump them right over top. I'll we'll use our tongs. Kind of get them nestled in there. All over it. Guys, it has literally been just a like two minutes in there, and you can already see that the oil is starting to burn off of that skillet so we're gonna just let it go uncovered like this for a while till the flames die down because there's oil on that grill too from grilling steaks and everything else we'll let all that burn off flames die down then we have another skillet so under the grill there there's our other pan, our cast iron pan under there. You see that whole thing is glow and red around the edges already. All right, and that's what we want. We want to get it up to a glow and red temperature and that will burn any uh, of the old seasoning off and any impurities that might be uh, on it. You know, you get it, you might not know where it's been but believe me, it's going to be completely clean and sterile when it comes out of those coals. Alright, so our one we're burning down, you can see it was glowing red earlier. It's all ash around the edges. It's still glowing in the middle. The only part that's not glowing is the very tip of the handle, which we don't cook with that part. I'm not really concerned about that. But I think we got enough fire to do another pan that's really been needing a uh, some TLC. We're going to pull this one off and see if we can't do this for one more of my pans up here on the wall while we got these coals going. Okay, you see center that pan glowing hot. It's all ash. That season is completely burned off of it. So we're going to get a place to set it ready over here to the side. We're going to let it gently cool down. By no means, by no means, guys, uh, like want to think you're going to dunk this in water, it will crack wide open. So you want that to cool down naturally, just on its own. And that'll be completely clean in uh, the next couple steps. So my old Bass Pro skillet, perfect example of one that needs a little bit of uh, restoration. I've had this for over 20 years and um, it has got a huge buildup of uh, you know seasoning so so bad you can't even see the the bass mark on it anymore hardly. The inside's still uh, really nice but I think we'll just go ahead since we got this fire going. I really like to, you know, this to be seen a little better or been visible a little better. And it's getting really crusty and 
doesn't quite set level on things anymore because there's so much buildup on this uh, little smoke ring. So, hey, what the hey. Let's go ahead. We got a nice hot fire going, a nice, nice cool night. It's just, we'll toss it in there too. We'll get some tongs and we'll put some, uh, put some coals right up on the bottom of it. Okay, when you're, uh, your old uh, Teflon pans, you know, some of the things pretty expensive. You see, uh, when those things get all scratched up, start sticking, and uh, don't really work real good anymore, see you do this and bring them back to life with a Teflon pan. Ain't happening. Cast iron, it's forever. So after she's cooled a little bit and sit over here, you look at this pan, you go, all right, well that looks ruined. I don't call it ruined. I call it the first step to being reborn. Just like getting baptized. This case, by fire, not water. So after submerging it in the water, I just got a little vegetable brush here, nothing real harsh right now. If this is burned out all the way, it should just lift. You can see how it's almost all the way down the back, bare cast iron. And we're gonna get, you know, it just takes a little, just a little effort to get the remaining little. Yeah, what I did was just uh, heated these up over here on a propane burner and dry them. And I got them pretty warm. They're not smoking hot, they're just warm. So I want to put this first coat of oil into them. I like to do it. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but I like to put it in there when the pan is warm. It's about 200 degrees, I would imagine, surface temperature. And it seems to drink the oil right up when you do that. So we'll flip it over to the inside. That's when the, the inside is what I'm most concerned about. We'll flip, go ahead and flip it over. It's still pretty warm. It's grape seed oil I'm using. And I'm going to do this for you guys outside because um, use the oven. It really smokes the house up, sets all the smoke detectors off. Yeah, that, that suckers are pretty warm. Okay, but see how it just kind of drinks that oil? And that's what we want. Do the same thing with the other one. So now that's burnt off, we can see it says uh, number seven, uh, ten and a half inch, and then it has a circle with a cross through it. So all the cast iron guys are yelling at me right now because you used a paper towel to do that. Okay, don't use a paper towel. Use a lint free cloth, a uh, shop rag. Uh, something 100% cotton. Uh, if you use a paper towel, you're gonna have to go in there with a fresh paper towel before you put it on seasoning, and get any of those little, little paper balls that might be in your seasoning out. And we did that. Okay. If you got something else, don't use paper towels. So I wanted to show you guys the difference between uh, modern cast iron and, can and antique cast iron. This is our modern one. This is a uh, lodge, uh, and it's this one is actually better than the ones they make now. I bought this. This one was given to me in the '80s, brand new. Okay, if you look very closely, you can see that that surface is still, although it's pretty smooth, it's not totally smooth, and the sides are even worse. Okay, close up there. Now let's back up over here this old guy it's already looking like a mirror already and the sides are also really smooth that makes a big difference yeah I've got this uh, Weber kettle grill going it's raging and we're gonna do both pans identically that grills at 500 degrees So we 
right? Lid on. Try to keep as close to 500 as we can, and then we're just gonna let it burn out. All right, guys. We just left those in the grill last night. Uh, let them cool down on their own. Let charcoal burn out. Let's see how they look. Look a lot better, huh? So that's only a first seasoning, but that uh, that turned out really good for a nice hard coat finish. And now we can really see all the details on the bass skillet. You know, we burn all that crud off of him. So we're gonna have to do this one more time. We do the same thing we did before. One layer of charcoal in the bottom of the grill, pretty much wide open. We'll re-oil them, put them back on, let them stay on there 500 degrees till the grill burns out and they completely cool down on their own. So we wipe these guys with another coat of uh, grapeseed oil. There's lots of good oils to use, you know. Um, and they look gorgeous already. I mean, look at that. So this this season, you know, the more times you season these, the better they're gonna get. We're just showing you how to bring them back from zero. So we want to kind of compare the two, you know. Uh, 1980s modern uh, came pre-seasoned, you know. Uh, Semi smooth bottom, a lot smoother actually than the ones they sell now, um, versus the uh, antique one. This was uh, thanks to uh, Larry Stevens, one of our great subs, and I know he helps a lot of you guys out with questions on the channel. He identified this one as a, a BSR Century Series, uh, late 1950s to early 1960s. So this is going to try to get another coat of seasoning inside the pan. Most important part, obviously, that's the surface you're going to cook on. I'm going to go ahead, wipe those with our cloth with the grapeseed oil while they're nice and hot. And we'll put the lid back on. No worrying about the smoke detectors going off doing this in the house. Good old Weber Kettle Grill does a great job. Alright guys, it's a cold and rainy morning. We've got both of our pans, they both look great. So now we're going to do the comparison. I was trying to figure out what we were going to do. And I know they're not ready for eggs yet. So what we're going to do is some pancakes for their inaugural cook after being reborn. This is our uh, our old lodge pan. This is the uh, the antique uh, Century Series BSR. Let me go ahead and just kind of start looking around the edges, see when that's going to come up. That's sticking a bit. Okay, I'll give it another second. I will try it on the Century Series also. And again, I feel just a slight bit. Sticking on that, basically in the middle. So I have to work that one off to give it a flip. But it came off and it's beautiful. And this one's kind of the same deal, you know, not quite as to the extent of the other one. can see that you know the center of it stuck a little on both of these but we had to wrinkle this one a little bit in order to get him loose so uh, in comparison both skillets performed about the same 
uh, after this amount of seasoning. So uh, the next thing, you know, as we use these more and more, they're going to get better and better. But they both did a, an excellent job. Now it's time for a big old stack of pancakes. Hey guys, thanks for watching this versus. I can't call a winner. I'm going to call it a tie. But Remember, just keep your cast iron seasoned, and whether you got old stuff or new stuff, it's all great. Hey, and if you haven't already, check out our Amazon store with the first comment down below. We're going to leave you a link there to check out our Amazon influencer site that uh, we get a little commission off of uh, if you go down there and buy something. We have a bunch of Lodge products on there. We have a bunch and bunches of all kinds of outdoor gear and outdoor cooking products. So. Uh, do us a favor. It's going to be a great year. Got a lot more content coming for you guys. Uh, so thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. Thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, hit that like button right down there. If you want to subscribe to our channel, you can do it right here. Check out our last video. It's right up there. And for a whole playlist of cast iron and Dutch oven cooking, check it out right up there. We'll see you next time.